Greetings everyone, this is Danny from hardtravel.com, your Norwegian cruise experts. And today we're inside the Fincantieri shipyard getting to meet the Norwegian Prima for the very first time. This incredible ship is the first in a class and it's a true revolution for Norwegian cruise lines. There's so many unbelievable upgrades compared to previous ships and they were pretty incredible as well. So we've got to meet with the designers. We'll also meet with the whole artist, Pita, in just a few minutes. And we're gonna head on inside to check out the ship and share the first looks with you. Now we will be on the very first cruise when she's completely outfitted, but we wanted to give you a little bit of a sneak peek today. Now, as you can imagine, a construction project of this type is an incredible feat. There's 5,500 people working on the ship, and there's actually 2,300 on board right now. These are welders, electricians, plumbers, everything that you can imagine to build this incredible home away from home. So now we're getting ready to head into the ship, our very first time stepping on board the Prima. Follow along. Now this is the spot where passengers will load, but you see you have all kinds of different equipment. They've got all the conduits running for all the supplies. So right now everything is a labyrinth. We're actually in crew area right now here, but that's what's so cool about this experience is seeing what it's like every step of the way. And then of course, when it's all completed, it's gonna be a world-class cruise vessel. So now we're heading up the passenger staircase. Of course, it won't look anything like this very shortly, but all around the ship, you're gonna have the schematics up so they know exactly what's going on. You see the drywall just behind me. We're gonna head on up and start on deck eight. Just behind me is the grand atrium. Now what's interesting is they're gonna have these schematics all the way around just so everybody knows what it's going to look like. You can keep that in mind. Now something unique about this are the floor to ceiling windows that you're gonna have on the far side. You've got the bar up here and then it's gonna step down to seven and eight. So once again, this is that six, seven, eight complex right here in the middle of the ship. It's the beating heart of the ship and you've got the beautiful Venetian glass chandelier just behind me. So now there's some beautiful staircases going up and down to connect six, seven, and eight like they have on the Breakaway and Breakaway Plus class ships. You're gonna have Starbucks down below on deck seven. They've really expanded that partnership. Of course, you have it in the Indulged Food Hall. You're also gonna have a full one right here. Now just behind me is the cigar lounge. So if you want to grab a nice cognac and a cigar, you can head on in here. Another one of those carryovers you'll see from the Breakaway Plus class ships, because of course it's so incredibly popular. So now we're at my home away from home, the sushi bar. You guys all know that I love a little bit of sushi for lunch, maybe pre-dinner, post-dinner, combine it with a Haven restaurant meal. It's just about perfection. Now one of those classic Norwegian venues has been brought over. It's just across from the sushi bar you're gonna have teppanyaki. You can see the makings of the teppanyaki tables just behind. It's a great social experience. It's dinner and a show, and it's my daughter's favorite because who doesn't love fried rice? What I love about it is it's great for every single member of the family, and of course, you can use part of that dining package here as well. Now, in addition to all of the incredible specialty restaurants, you have phenomenal fine dining that's complimentary. We're inside Hudson's right now. It's one of those complimentary options here on board breakfast, lunch, and dinner, depending on the day. And what I love so much about what Norwegian's been doing is that they've actually doubled their food budget in the last couple of years, and it really shows with the increase in quality. So this restaurant's gonna have a very, very large menu to choose from with top quality dining options. Now, another fantastic thing is wrapped all the way around the back. So we're in the aft of the ship now. You're gonna have these floor to ceiling windows, so you get an incredible amount of light, and of course, quite a few more tables at the window side. Now this amount of marble is usually reserved for the Haven and the top suites on the ship, but you'll see they've extended it throughout because this truly is a movement up to the premium market. So now we're just inside the galley of Hudson's. You can see it just behind me. And I also wanted to point out the escalators here. This is how they're gonna get food up and down so that they can share those galleys and really improve the quickness of service and the dining experience. And I'm still waiting for my sushi. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm back here again because I can't wait. I am gonna eat so many rolls here. Woo, game on. Incredible.
One of the biggest revolutionary venues here is the theater. It covers decks six, seven, and eight. All of these can slide back. It's gonna turn into an interactive nightclub. They'll do all of your favorite shows. Of course, we know the entertainment now. It's going to be completely next level. This was designed just for Norwegian, by Norwegian, once again, high tech, and an incredible venue to enjoy here on board. So now this is our first look of Ocean Boulevard. We're in the Terrazza area. You can see you have all this lounge space here, taking advantage of the incredible ocean views. On my far side, you're gonna have those large floor to ceiling windows that you can see all that extra light coming into the atrium. And then as we turn around here, I wanted to show you something incredibly special. So in 446 days, that incredible ship, the Norwegian Viva, will be sailing, if you can imagine that. This ship's about 140 days away from sailing, but you can really see what it looks like under construction here. Sisters right next door. And then of course, Leonardo 3 will be on her way shortly. Now, just behind me, you'll see the racing slides. These are dry slides. They're the fastest at sea, so you can race your friends. You go from deck 18 all the way down here to deck eight, 10 full stories. Now, here on Ocean Boulevard, it's also an art walk. We're in the Terrazza area, so they'll have all the lounge chairs, a really nice place to relax. And then on the ground here, you have these dots. What those are gonna be, they're solar-powered lights. They kind of lead the art walk all the way along. I can't wait to see it completely finished. Now, just behind me is the landing zone for Rush. These are the racing slides that I was talking about. You can see they land right here on deck eight. And then just along is Infinity Beach. So these are gonna be those infinity pools. There's one on either side. What I love about it is they've really extended the pool deck. That's how they get the most outdoor space at sea in their entire class, all of their competitors here. You can really see how it opens up. The Ocean Boulevard is going to continue around. And what I love more than anything else is it goes all the way around the ship. You can continuously walk all the way around the bow, continue along all the way around the aft. That's where the Indulge Food Hall is. And then right over here. Now, keep in mind, on the other side, you're going to have drop. That is a slide that's very similar to Ocean Loops, but it is a dry slide. The floor is gonna drop right out for you and you're gonna rush 10 stories down. Now here is the Infinity Beach Infinite Edge Pool. It's gonna stick off the side of the ship here. It's actually enclosed right now because they're tiling it, keeping all the construction dust out. Get a little bit of a sneak peek just in here. It's a really nice large pool. Once again, an extension of the entire pool deck. And if you wanna access it, just head on down the slide. Now, in continuation of Infinity Beach, there's going to be a large bar right here to service all of this outdoor space. And I wanted to point out, as you head up, you can really get a glimpse of those incredible Haven Suite balconies. They wrap all the way around the back. Of course, all the Haven Suites on board this ship are in the aft of the ship, and they have that private elevator that will take you directly up to the private Haven spaces. Now, if you want to see what the suites look like, you can check out our Norwegian Viva preview because they are the same between the two ships. Now we went through every single room category for you to check out. And of course, when you're ready to book, make sure you reach out to Har Travel. Now from here, we're gonna extend further around the back and the seating for the Indulge Food Hall is gonna start. And then of course, the incredible aft facing deck. Follow along. Now this aft area will be the outdoor seating area for the Indulge Food Hall. We'll go inside in just a second, but you can see the enormous amount of space. Once again, this has the best passengers to crew ratio. It also has the best passenger space ratio of any ship in its class throughout all of the different cruise brands. You can see the different setups here. You're gonna have the fire pits out there. You have the aft facing bar. Grab a drink, enjoy a sunset, or head on inside for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Grab some food and head out here and enjoy dining al fresco. Now we're inside the Indulge Food Hall here. It's got the indoor-outdoor experience. It's gonna extend just outside. But what I love is they have independent food stalls. So you're gonna have several different options to choose from. This does replace the traditional buffet. So you're not gonna have that old school buffet. You're gonna have breakfast, lunch, and dinner to order all throughout. There are a ton of complimentary options. And then of course, a few of those specialty dining options here as well. Now, as we continue along, if you are a coffee lover, you're gonna have that Starbucks kiosk down here. You're gonna have Latin food. You're gonna have barbecue. You're gonna have Indian. You guys know how much I'm excited for that. But whatever kind of food you like, what I love about it is each and every member of the family can have something different. You put it together and we always know that if every single member of the family is having a great time, it's gonna be an incredible vacation experience. Now the local is the classic diner experience here on board. It's complimentary. It goes open 24 hours a day. Now what's unique about this is you've got indoor and outdoor seating. So if you're like me and you want some wings at two in the morning, or you just want some French toast and a delicious breakfast, you can sit down here. Once again, no additional charge and an incredible meal. Now NCL's major revolution here on board is moving the Haven to the aft of the ship. 
The area I'm in right now is part of the large Haven Lounge. And as we continue along, you're gonna see the Haven Bar area. So there's a really, really large bar that wraps around, makes it bigger than what you're gonna find on the Breakaway and the Breakaway Plus class ships, as you would expect. And then as we continue further back, you're gonna get into the Haven Restaurant. So it's a continuation of what you've seen on the other ships, but as I mentioned, a true revolution with everything in the back of the ship, the private elevators, it'll take you right up to the Haven spaces. This is gonna be truly unique, but for me, it's all about the aft of the ship and the outdoor deck. Let's head on out there next. Now, this is a continuation of the restaurant. It's been such a big hit on the Breakaway Plus class ships to have indoor and outdoor seating. So we walked from the indoor restaurant out to the restaurant out here. The lounge space is gonna continue along the back, and then I'm gonna take you to the Infinity Edge pool. Now, this is truly a transformative game changer. In addition to having a hot and cold room, so a sauna and an ice room that you can utilize, just inside here is the Infinity Edge pool. And not only does it go out the back of the ship like we've seen on other cruise ships, it truly extends off the aft several feet. You can see the stairs right down in there, a nice gentle entry. And of course, you're gonna have the area on the outside here with a shallow area so you can have your feet in the water and enjoy those incredible views as you sail away from the amazing destinations that this ship visits. Now at the very aft, you're gonna have a continuation of the Haven One Deck Up. And right here is the Vibe Beach Club. You have infinity pools on either side. You're gonna have the hot tub here. This is an adults only area. It does come at an additional cost, but it really transforms your experience here on board. Now, just behind me is going to be the raceway bar around the app. You can see the entrance to the slide. So that's where you're gonna have Rush, the racing slides here, and all of these interactive games here with the stadium. On the other side, you're gonna find Bullseye. We'll take you over there right now. Now, but what this is all about is, of course, the racetrack, the incredible three-story racetrack. If you look at the evolution from Joy to Bliss to Encore, and now here on the Prima, they've taken it to another level each and every single time. So you can imagine racing three stories at the very top of a ship here on board. Now, this is a spot I'm gonna spend a ton of time here on board. This is the Las Vegas Miniature Golf Experience. You'll have Bullseye over to the side, but you get a great angle of the speedway. So you've got it coming up here. It's gonna ramp all the way around. The after the ship, you're gonna find the Speedway bar, and then you can see more of the decking space. Once again, it's more than double the size of the original one on the Joy. Insane. That's like, okay, Dan, you're the scaffolding guy. You're responsible for all the scaffolding on the ship. <laughs> I'm good, oh. I'm good, I'll pass. So now we're inside one of the standard balcony cabins here, and it is absolutely massive. One of the largest in the entire industry. You see you have the large bed here. It can be separated into two. You're going to have the full love seat here as well. And then a continuation of the beautiful, colorful decor along the side. Now directly across, you're going to have a large flat panel TV on the wall there. You've got a huge mirror right here. And then another one of those charging stations. I love that they put them in. Euro plug, US plug, USB-C, and a standard USB. You've got your writing desk, vanity doubling here. Also the mini fridge just underneath. And then over here, you have a massive amount of storage. So you've got hanging storage, shelves down below. On the other side over here, you're gonna have hanging storage. And I love that they have these adjustable shelves. So depending on what your needs are, you've got more hanging storage down below, a shelf here and hanging up above. Now tucked just behind the door here, you're actually gonna have even more storage, which is pretty unique. You can see it just here. You've got the hanging storage closet up above and down below for luggage. But I'm gonna take you into what I'm most excited about. That's the bathroom. This is a standard bathroom here on board the Prima and then of course the Viva as well. You've got a lot more counter space, storage up here. You've got storage underneath, so quite a bit more and on the side. And then I'm gonna step into the shower. They these are a little bit different than what they've done before, but there is a massive amount of room. I'm 6'6". Six, six. I also have a construction helmet on. I can fit just fine in here. You've got the adjustable shower wand, the nooks for amenities, and you also have that clothesline. But I love the continuation of the beautiful decor in the room and in the bathroom as well. So now we're outside on your private balcony. They're really nice and large here. You'll have two chairs and a table right in between. You can see how the doors haven't been put up that are gonna separate, but those will open up as well. It's an absolutely massive amount of space. And this is what cruising is all about. Your own fresh air. You can take in incredible ocean views, maybe have a nice cup of coffee or tea in the morning, a cocktail in the evening and enjoy it. And what's great about this particular balcony is you have an amazing view over at the Norwegian Viva. So now we're in one of the interior cabins. You can really see the incredible size here. 
you've got the beautiful, beautiful wall behind you. You're gonna have European plugs on either side. You also have a US plug by the side of the bed. Over here, you're gonna have your mini fridge, a little bit of storage, and the large flat panel TV. Now, something I really like is you've got these charging stations here, a Euro, US, USB-C, and a USB plug. And then as we continue further back, I wanted to show you something that I am incredibly excited about, and that is the size of the bathroom. So this is a standard bathroom here on board. Of course, I've got my helmet on, but just behind me, you can see a ton of storage underneath there. You've got the toilet tucked in the corner, a large sink, a double size vanity, storage underneath the sink, and right here is what it's all about. The shower is massive. I'm 6'6", I've got a construction helmet on above me. I can fit in here just fine and move around. And the way they've angled these doors is really quite genius. A ton of space to spread out. Now, it wouldn't be a hard travel tour without pointing out the storage. I love that they've done what they had in the Haven previously. You've got a floor to ceiling mirror here. It slides on either side to open up. You've got a ton of storage in there hanging all the way across. These adjustable shelving units, so you can adjust it as you like if you want more hanging space or storage. And then on the far side, right as you walk in, you've got a full coat closet as well. Thank you so much for spending your time with us here on board the incredible Norwegian Prima. You can see the drop slide just behind me. You can imagine the exhilaration of that. Above it, you can see the incredible racetrack and all of these extra large balconies, mini suites, and the amazing Haven. If you wanna see all those different rooms and suites, make sure you check out our video, the link's down below. And of course, when we get on board this ship in Reykjavik for the naming ceremony and inaugural in just a few months, we're gonna share the entire ship with you. But once again, just a sneak peek, we're inside the Fincantieri shipyard on board the amazing Norwegian Prima.